Sharpen. Masters of Surgical Education. This is Samuel George, and this video is on how to design a rotation flap. Now, if we revisit flap classification, this is divided into contour, composition, circulation, contiguity, and conditioning. If we talk about contour, this is the method in which the donor moves to the recipient. A few ways this can happen, transposition, interpolation, rotation, or advancement. And what this video is talking about is rotation and how to design a rotation flap. So we start with a defect, and this defect basically needs to be triangulated. Now, this is an isosceles triangle and the base is measured as x. The width of the defect will also be x. The extension of the two sides of the isosceles triangle will be 2x. Now, what we need to do next is extend the corner of the isosceles triangle in an arc. And this arc is typically 5 to 8 times x. Now, this is the diagram you'd see in most books or places on the internet. Now, the problem is if you did this on a patient in real life, when you divided and raised the flap and you tried to advance it, that corner would only reach somewhere there and you would be struggling to get your defect closed. So hence what you have to do is extend the arc away from the edge of the triangle so that when now you raise your flap, rotate and advance it, it will fit nicely and you won't have the problem of the flap not reaching and you can close it with no tension. Now the way to get more advancement in these flaps is to make possibly a back cut. The problem with making a back cut is you might disrupt the blood supply because the base of the flap is where the blood supply comes from and making a back cut invades this area. So the other option is to design a burrows triangle which you excise and this will aid advancement of your flap at the same time. Now if we apply this design to the forehead, this is a scalp which we're looking at from the front and the defect has been excised, triangulated and a large flap has been created. We have to make the flap large so that you get enough advancement, rotation and you're able to close your defect. The reason you need a large flap is that this flap closes directly. You do not need to graft the donor slide like you would a transposition flap. So if you didn't have enough space to perform this flap, you might need to perform a transposition flap instead. Now, this is essentially a random pattern flap, but if you wanted to get more marks and exhibit some higher order thinking, you can mention that the blood supply of the base of the flap comes from the supratrochlear artery, more centrally on the forehead, and the supraorbital artery, more laterally. Thank you. Sharpen, Masters of Surgical Education.